Welcome back guys. Today I want to make a video about these hub motors. Honestly, I've been riding this board already for a few months and I've always wondered how this motor here is built, especially on these on this particular hub motor that seems to be used by other brands like Meepo, Wowgo and actually many others now. So, so I'm going to probably first start by taking off these bolts there and then hopefully we'll be able to maybe take this off or I'm not sure how it comes off but there's uh, as you can tell there's little screws here all around the wheel so I'm using my little nifty toolkit from Costco I got many years ago so it ended up being a metric of number five Allen wrench so it fit perfect in there so now I just gotta see if I can break them loose I have to get some kind of extension here because they seem to be pretty tight. So getting an extension is as simple as just going to your toolbox. So look at that. That looks like a pretty good extension. So yeah, like I said, you can use that toolbox pretty much for anything. Just got to be clever with it. Look at that. It's going pretty good now. So it's definitely a little bit tight, surprisingly. So they are using thread locker, which is a huge plus. It's part of the reason why they're coming off kind of uh, slow. I'm getting on my last uh, nut bolt here and uh, it's starting to be loose now so it looks like it just clamps it in there so it looks like there's just a plate that pushes down on here and that's what locks it in so let's see if I can get this out yep alright so now it's just loose on the wire so I guess now we can uh, take off all these bolts here or screws whatever they are it's a Phillips these are bolts and they also have thread locker on them I think yep they sure do actually kind of hard to unscrew it anyways I got quite a few more here one two three four five more so there's six total all right so there's the six bolts so it's completely free now I hope now I just gotta figure out how to pop it up all right guys so after prying this up a bit with the screwdriver and then honestly had to pull really hard um, what I did was I just grabbed it by this and pulled it in a, like a quick motion up because what's happening is all these magnets here are magnetizing to this and it won't let it go out so but yeah check out this motor guys it's huge so this part here stands still this part this right here rotates with the wheel outside of it so this is like the back part of it this obviously mounts to here and this is the wheel part so technically this might be serviceable if you can find a wheel like this for sale somewhere you could technically change your tires you don't have to buy that whole thing that would be kind of cool I'm sure somebody probably sells this so this would probably go for many boards like Meepo and Wowgo and many others that have this design okay also there seems to be some kind of electronics behind that this uh, rotor assembly thing, remember Jigger? I'm gonna see if I can push this cover off. Oh yeah, there it goes, look at that. Thought it moved. Okay, so it looks like it's on a bearing too over there, as you can see. So it looks like a circuit board, but I think it's just a connecting board. I don't think it's anything more than that. Well, it seems to be built pretty well. It's got a markings here. So overall a pretty high quality motor it's huge too look at my hand in the motor so it's a boss after looking at this I'm kind of curious what the grade of those magnets are because what I'm thinking is if you can get a higher quality magnet in there I mean this would not be worth it because you'd have to take all these out and then you'd have to stick the new ones on somehow but I was thinking if you put a higher grade like an N52 or even a N50 in here, um, this motor would be stronger automatically. So I'm curious what kind of magnets these are because it is from China, so it's probably cheap magnets. If you can get nice magnets in here, this could change everything for this hub motor. But I'm going to show you guys. I've got this metal screwdriver, small one. They they actually are really strong though. I mean, it just goes right to them, and it sticks on there real strong. So anyway, so maybe these magnets are real good. so I wanted to mention that if you are going to take this apart on your own board um, one of the important things that I didn't really know until now that I'm looking at it is that whenever you are going to pull off let's say this 
piece right here is you got to pull it on both sides let's say on equally both sides like this if you pull it on one side or try to pry it out on one side like I did it's just it's just binding it so um, if you're gonna take it apart use a you know more than one pressure point so it comes out smoothly because it's a, such a perfect fit the bearing it uh, doesn't uh, want to go up if you just pull it on one end but anyway so this is what the motor looks like it looks awesome kinda glad I took it apart at least I get to see what I'm riding on and uh, yeah so now I'm gonna try to put it back together so I'm gonna try to put this in first guys so you can see what's going on <clears throat> the reason I don't want to put that on yet is because that goes on top of here so I want to make sure I can get this into that bearing straight before I can put that but one of the problems we're gonna have already I can tell is that this thing's gonna want to stick to the sides so. and there it goes this is, I don't know if you saw that it's literally trying to rip it out of my hand trying to go down in there so now I don't know how I'm gonna put it in I probably need to use two of my hands but you can see right there it's literally stuck to the edge of it it's magnetizing it so hard and over here you got a big hole so it's un sort of unlevel right now Anyways, guys, I'm going to try to get it in there so it's straight. And then uh, and then we can put this top cap on it. We'll level out here. So it does have a pretty good tolerance. It's pretty close to the magnets, which is very important for power. After fighting with it a little bit, so I was pushing it down and twisting it at the same time. It did pop in. So as you can see, it's pretty level with the magnets. But it is still going to one side because there's nothing here on top holding it equally from the magnets so that'll be next just to put this top piece on just like that and I gotta line up those bolts at the same time so alright guys so just from moving it around back and forth it just popped right in yeah so I didn't have to force it or anything so just move it around a little bit and it'll just pop all together so it's all back together now. All we got to do now is see if it's make sure everything's fine. The bearings are not binding. And as you can tell, it's perfect. Okay, so I got all the um, bolts in. Uh, what you want to do is you want to put one here and one here. But don't tighten it. Just slightly uh, put them in and then put the rest in. And then you can you know, start tugging them in. Because you want it to be everything pretty equal equilibrium because you don't want to put too much pressure on the bearings if it's going to go crooked or something so once you get that tight then you just want to set the whole thing just like that but it's in there all the way and the wire comes out to the side just like that so one of the things I forgot to mention is you want to make sure that this is all the way in into here so because you could clamp it down by accident out a little bit so you want to make sure that it's all the way tight. Alright guys, well thanks for watching this video. Hopefully that was interesting. So I always wondered what's inside a motor. So it looks pretty nice. It actually looks like it's pretty well built. Alright, well thanks for watching this video. And check out the other videos I got building this board and update on this board. So the board's been really nice. I love it so far. It definitely was worth it. Alright, well thanks for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.